So several members of Sauce Walker's crew are arrested on RICO charges. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So Sauce Walker's The Sauce Factory is the latest crew to find itself at the center of a RICO investigation, with several members being arrested on racketeering charges. According to Fox 26 Houston, a number of alleged members of TSF, founded by Walker, were taken into custody on Thursday, December 15th, for various crimes following an investigation conducted by the FBI and Houston Police Department. Attorney Alamder S. Hamdani said the crimes included drug trafficking, possessing a Glock switch, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. A total of 14 people were arrested as part of the investigation, including Anthony Ketchum, 35, Anthony Yacino Hopkins, 38, Brandon Milson, 32, Hassani Mills, 34, Jalen Pinson, 29, Jose Rodriguez, 32, Keith Moore, 34, Michael Henry, 32, Miles Smith, 23, Robert Thomas, 29, Sterling... Damn, hustling boy 2.0. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Hey, back with another video, bro. And the got the boy sauce, man. Crazy. Y'all don't see the patterns? What's been going on for a little, you know? you ain't catching the little drift now, what they really got going on. A little, little light, little martial art going on real quick. But, hey, shout out to the Positivity Gang, Hustling Squad, Hustling Universe. You know, stand up on that, bro. You know, back-to-back, back-to-back -back videos. I appreciate y'all. Hey, much love. Thank y'all for them comments. Hey, I'm about to start shouting out these comments, man. Hey, it, be, it be people in the comment boards really got, you know, y'all really be showing love, man. Y'all really be engaging with the videos. And I appreciate that. Appreciate that. So, Hey, y'all make and yeah, I'ma stand on that. Y'all make me stand on that. Sometimes they be forgetting. I be wanting to write the I'm I'm gonna start doing them. I'm just gonna be start writing, you know, just writing some of some of y'all uh pages and uh channels and I'm just gonna start writing y'all names down and just shout y'all out, you feel me? The best way I can. Cause I don't I do wanna give appreciation to y'all, man. Big appreciation to y'all doing it, man. Hey. I'm gonna be hey, I won't be doing this without y'all, man. I really appreciate it. But damn sauce. It's crazy, y'all. Damn, you don't see the pad written in it though? You ain't seen what been going on? A lot of Regals been, been handing out. Berman, 26, Titus Basie, 35, and Tori White, 27, and Julian Herrera, 26. Well, we begin with more than a dozen men behind bars facing federal charges as part of a joint operation to crack down on violent offenders in the Houston area. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. And KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at the downtown a federal courthouse with some new details about this big bust. Bryce? Keith and Daniela, we've learned tonight from the FBI that more than 200 personnel, tactical teams from all across the state, came in and surrounded Damn. the homes of these 14 accused criminals, arresting them at 6 o'clock in the morning. For the second time in two months, the FBI announcing a group of arrests, the special agent in charge of the Houston division says target violent crime. For every criminal that we take off the streets, that's one less person being victimized. Early Wednesday morning, FBI tactical teams helped arrest 14 men indicted Damn. for federal violations like drug trafficking and unlawful possession of a firearm. Guns and drugs, they fuel violent crime. Court. The arrest took place at 6 a.m. per click to Houston with over 200 people from tactical teams across Texas surrounding their homes. Each of the men, apart from Thomas and Rodriguez, have been charged with possession with intent to deliver meth and face up to... God dang, bro. Like, damn, bro. Hey, bro. And that sauce, man. You know, man, we, we really fuck with the sauce twins. But I'm just saying, I, I fuck with dude music. You know what I'm saying? I salute dude, man. He a real one. You feel me? At the end of the day, bro, bro, we... Stand on, you know, he stand on business and he official. Just as a man, you feel me? Ain't talking about all that other little street shit. You know, he always about the streets, you feel me? But at the end of the day, damn, bro, like, I don't get it sometimes, y'all. Like, bro, once you get the bag, bro, once you, you got you got everything, you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Ain't that the whole um purpose of making it? Ain't that the whole purpose of making it? Like, bro, thug and all these other dudes that be like, bro, once y'all make it, guys, I understand still feed the streets and people that you, you deal with, but to be associated, still associated with some street shit, you feel me? Got one foot in the game, one foot in the street, you doing both and stuff like that to be known for what? I mean, you know, you know, people pop up their environment, but damn, look how many people done got arrested too, but it's just like, some shit this stupid, bro. Like, what if you a millionaire? 
give back to the hood to make more millionaires. Get it, dog. Up to life in prison and fines up to ten million dollars. Moore faces an added charge of possession with intent to deliver heroin, which carries a maximum of forty years in prison. Thomas allegedly unlawfully possessed a firearm, which was a device made and intended to convert a semi-automatic pistol into a fully automatic, also known as a Glock auto switch. If convicted, he faces a 10-year possible sentence. Rodriguez was allegedly in possession of a Ruger 5.7 millimeter firearm. As a convicted felon, he's reportedly prohibited from federal law and could also be sentenced to a maximum of 10 years. Officials said a federal grand jury returned an 11-count indictment on December 7th, with detention hearings set to begin on Monday, December 19th at 9 a.m. The news comes after Gunnar was released from prison last week after pleading guilty to a racketeering conspiracy charge in the RICO case against Young Thug's YSL crew. The Atlanta rapper entered an Alfred plea and was sentenced to five years with... Mm. Why would she say that? I caught that a little bit when Gunnar was released. And then certain other people got hit with a RICO. Right after he his release, from what he already just did, I don't know. I was telling Gunner, hey man, we need more than this pressing them and stuff. Hey, them police officers, them detectives, they be pressing niggas, bro. For real, they be making niggas all that. Like they be scaring a lot. They they're scared. If you if you easily be scared and you if you like materially like you ain't standing on that and you really that solid, bro, they were scared of hey, hey listen, we just don't need stuff with us. We don't want to know other stuff with other people. You never know. Understand. I'm telling you, tell it. You see you you if you were telling yourself and telling other people to maneuver in, you know. They call it what it is. If you tell them somebody and you get out, you feel what I'm saying? Who to say you want to do that to other people? And you can't be wrong if you, you get associated with that. Years was once served in prison and is set to serve the rest in the form of 500 hours of community service. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to poppyx.com. Awesome, but 2.0, man. Y'all go check out the Homegirl channel, man. She doing good content, man. Y'all go see what is full video at DX. Oh, I think, yeah, DX been out. She, you know, she did good commentary, you know what I'm saying? Some good words. So y'all go shout out. Y'all go, you know, fuck with DX, too, man. I just want to show the love, man. Show the support from every level. No matter who ain't doing it for me, I'm going to be me, man. Hey, keep God first, you understand? Take care of yourself and those around you, you understand me? This shit crazy about sauce, bro. It's crazy. And ironically... It happens when we're gonna get out. Ironically. You know what I mean? I said that word wrong, but very I don't know. They might be wrong. I might I may be wrong, she may be wrong, but it's that's that's kinda weird. It's kinda weird. Y'all let me know in the comment section, man. Keep a positive mental attitude. You dig what I'm saying? Just wanna bring y'all back to back videos. What we doing? Back to back videos, man. Hey, free sauce though, for real, bro. Damn.